I'm a firm believer, as, as many of my colleagues also think, that we study the past to understand the present and to make for a better future. The Stavros Niakos Foundation has sponsored many a work of conservation and restoration of ancient monuments in Greece proper. One thinks of the many theaters they have helped to conserve. These are structures uh, that are to the open sky and they need constant attention, making sure that they can still at times be even used for contemporary performances. All of us involved in museum work, in conservation and restoration, think of one of our most important roles as educating our community. Each generation sees something different in the past, and, and that's the way it should be. The beauty of it is, is that the more that you study a culture, the more you find out its diversity. The Met is incredibly grateful to Andreas Drakopoulos and the team at the Stavros Niakos Foundation because they understood an exhibition like Pergamon and the art of the Hellenistic period. It's the most complex period of Greek art, uh, the least understood and technically the most brilliant. Philanthropy, if you look at it from the actual meaning of the words, philos and anthropos means friends to people or friends to humankind. I think philanthropy means giving back and helping others and society at large. My uncle Stavros Niakos uh, is the founder. It was uh, in his will to form such a foundation and to be active around the world. We have four areas that we engage in, arts and culture, education, health and sports, and social welfare in more than 111 countries. The Stavros Niakos Foundation Cultural Center provides the new homes for the National Library of Greece, uh, the National Opera House, and a large uh, outside park, which uh, is very important, especially in a city like uh, Athens, where you don't see too much green. This project was decided before the crisis in Greece. We decided very wholeheartedly to go ahead with the center because we believe that that can inspire and also can give hope. At the opening events, we had about 120,000 people in like four, four days. Renzo Piano, I find him to be an amazing person, an amazing architect, uh, both himself and his team. Because from the beginning, I think he really appreciated the fact that he was going to do something in Greece uh, where it really brought society together. And I think it brought back this sense of community. But when you say culture in the sense that we say culture, it's just for everybody to come to enjoy beauty. It's about music, it's about art, it's about nature, it's about, it's about tolerance as well, building tolerance. And of course, when you have a client that has excellence in the spirit, in the DNA, then, then it's a good starting point because, you know, making a building in the middle of a city so historically important and so important for the community a place where people share the same values, that are the values of a civic life. When you look into the architecture of Greece, it's a storm, but it's so light, so brilliant, so, so sparkling, so fragmented, so vibrant. So, you know, this is the kind of inspiration. The best way to respect the past and the history is to, be, to belong to your time. I do believe that uh, respecting our past is very important. Preserving culture, uh, preserving heritage, they're all very important towards us as humanity, looking into the future and giving, providing some kind of continuity and some kind of inspiration. That place where you can see Athens, the Acropolis, all the city, and you see the sea, it's magic because it's almost like connecting yourself to the rest of the world, suddenly. It's a poetic connection. 